What's up, you freaking geniuses? So, in this video, I'm going to give you an introduction into factors and understanding what factors are exactly. So, what is a factor? A factor is just a number that fits evenly or exactly inside of another number. Okay, so to illustrate my point, I drew this beautiful bucket right here. And I'm going to call this my $10 bucket. And it only holds exactly $10. It will not hold less. It will not hold more. It only holds exactly $10. Okay, so if I had, let's say I had a $1 bill. How many $1 bills would it take to fill up my $10 bucket? Well, it would take 10 of them. So if I had a $1 bill, it would take 10 of them to fill up the $10 bucket. Okay, what if I had a $2 bill, right? $2 bill. How many $2 bills could I fit inside of the $10 bucket? Well, I could fit five of them in there, right? So if I had a $2 bill, I could fit five of those bills inside my $10 bucket here, and it would fill it exactly at $10. Okay, what if I had a $3 bill? How many $3 bills could I fit inside of my $10 bucket? Well, I could fit one, I could fit two, I could fit three, right? How much money would this be? $3, $6, $9. So if I had a $3 bill, I could fit three of those bills inside of my $10 bucket. But that would only give me $9. And remember, my bucket only accepts exactly $10, right? Because we could put another $3 bill in there. So we could put four of those bills in there, but that would put us at $12 which would be over the limit. So as you can see, the $3 bill will not fit exactly or evenly inside of my $10 bucket. Okay, what if I had a $4 bill? How many $4 bills could I fit inside of my $10 bucket? Well, I could fit one, I could fit another one, right? So I could fit two. So if I had a $4 bill, I could fit two of those bills in there, but that would give me $8, right? And I could put another one, so I could have those $4 bills and I could put three of them, but that would give me $12, which would give me the same problem as right here, right? I would go over again. So as you can see, these $4 bills don't fit exactly or don't fit evenly inside of my $10 bucket. Okay, what about $5? How many $5 bills could I fit inside of my $10 bucket? I could fit one, I could fit two. So I'm gonna write it right here. If I had a $5 bill, I could fit two of them inside of my $10 bucket, right? And it would give me exactly $10. But, wait just one second. We already knew that five would fit into the $10 bucket because we actually found it over here. Okay, so since I just found a number that I already previously found, I'm gonna stop here. I'm not gonna check $6, $7, $8, etc. okay? Because we're starting to repeat ourselves because this five and two, we already found over here five and two. So I'm not going to even include this one because again, we already found it over here. Okay. So what are the different dollar bills that will fit evenly and exactly into my $10 bucket? Well, that'd be the $1 bill, right? Which we got here. That would also be the $2 bill, which would be right here. It would also be the $5 bill, which would be right here. And one that I haven't pointed out yet, would be this one, a $10 bill, right? Because if I had a $10 bill right here, how many $10 bills could I fill inside of my $10 bucket? Exactly 
one. So which dollar bills fit exactly into this $10 bucket? The $1 bill, the $2 bill, the $5 bill, and the $10 bill. Okay, now a way I could have phrased this question originally is by asking you, what are the factors of 10? So what do I mean, what are the factors of 10? So I want to know which numbers fit evenly or exactly inside of 10. So what numbers would those be? It'd be 1, 2, 5, and 10. Okay, because these numbers fit exactly inside of 10. They fit in 10 evenly. Okay, so now that you kind of have an idea of what factors are, another way to figure out what the factors of a number would be is by simply asking yourself, what numbers can I multiply together to get 10? So I can multiply 1 and 10 together, right? Which is exactly what we got up here. And I could also multiply 2 times 5 together to give me 10, which again is also what we found up here. So these four numbers fit exactly inside of 10. Now, one last thing I want to cover are factored pairs. So factored pairs are just the pair of numbers that you multiply together to get, in this example, to get 10. Or they're just the two numbers you multiply together to get 10. So, for example, we multiplied 1 and 10 together to get 10, right? 1 times 10 is what's known as a factor pair. Okay, so if I was asking you what are the factor pairs of 10, I would say 1 times 10, and I would also say 2 times 5. Okay, those are the factored pairs of 10. Okay, so let's do one more example. And we're gonna focus on just this shortcut of just multiplying numbers together. Okay, so if I asked you, what are the factors of 24? You can kind of think of 24 as a $24 bucket, okay? So I wanna know what dollar bills or what numbers go evenly or exactly into 24. And the easier way of doing that is just thinking to yourself, what numbers can I multiply together to get me 24. So the first number you're always going to start with is 1. Okay? So 1 times what number gives you 24? Well, 1 times 24 gives you 24. Because 1 fits inside of 24 evenly, right? So this is like saying I have 24 $1 bills. And the thing is, when you find one factor, you also find another factor. So since 1 is a factor, 24 is also a factor. Because this one's like saying you have one $24 bill. Okay, so try to remember that. When you find one factor, you also found another factor. Both of these are factors of 24. Okay, what other numbers can I multiply well, we together started by checking the number to get 24? One. So let's just keep going in order and check the number 2. So does 2 fit evenly into 24? Well, I could multiply 2 and 12, right? That equals 24. So again, that means 2 and 12 are both factors of 24, right? Because when you find one, you find the other. Okay, what about 3? Does 3 go into 24? Yes, it does, right? 3 times 8 is equal to 24. Okay, so again, both of these are factors of 24. What about 4? Does 4 go into 24? Yes, 6 times, right? 4 times 6 is 24. So 4 and 6 are both factors of 24. What about 5? Does 5 go into 24? Uh, well, let's see. 5 times 4, that's equal to 20. So not there. What about 5 times 5? That equals 25. Okay, so you can see we skipped over... 24 right here, right? We went from 20 to 25. So 5 does not fit evenly inside of 24, right? This $5 bill does not fit inside of this $24 bucket. So 5 is not a factor of 24. Okay, what about 6? 
Does 6 go into 24? Uh, yes, it does. 4 times, right? So 6 times 4 is equal to 24. But hold on. We already found 6 and 4, right? We found it right here and right here. 6 and 4. So that means I'm repeating myself now, so I'm going to stop. Because I'm just going to keep finding more repeating ones. So I'm not even going to include this one, because again, we already found it right here. Okay, so let's list all the factors of 24 from least to greatest. And the little trick you can use to do that is, you can see we multiplied all these out, right? We did 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, 4 times 6, okay? I'm just going to draw this U shape around it. Okay, and now if I'm listing them from least to greatest, I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to move downward. And then I'm going to come to the bottom, I'm going to go across that way, okay, and then I'm going to go back up this way, and then I'm going to end right there at the top. Okay, so again, I'm going to start right here, so I have 1, and then we have 2, then we have 3, then we have 4, then we have 6, then we have 8, then 12, and lastly we have 24, and I end right here, right? 24. Okay, so these are all the factors of 24. Okay, and lastly, what if I asked you what are the factor pairs of 24? What would the factored pairs be? Well, it would just be the two numbers we multiplied together to get 24, right? So, 1 times 24, that'd be one of our factored pairs. 2 times 12, that would be another factored pair. 3 times 8 would also be a factored pair. And lastly, we had 4 and 6, right? 4 times 6. So we had 1, 2, 3, 4 different factored pairs of 24. All right, guys, so there's your introduction into factors. I hope it made sense. If it did, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you still got questions, leave them in the comments section below, and I'll do my best to try and help you out. Also, there's a whole pre-algebra playlist attached at the end of the video. So if there's any other topics you need to check out, definitely check them out, and I'll see you there.